Hey, it's Men's here, doing a review of the new Tier 8 British Premium Light Tank, the FV1066 uh, Senlac. Now, before people start saying, oh my god, it's a British Light Tank, this thing is a little bit different than the British Light Tanks in the tech tree. Um, more or less, though, the thing's not super large, but it's uh, honestly not as small as, say, like the LHMTV here. And the other uh, British lights are in tech tree now. Uh, this tank, I'm gonna do a quick little comparison um, versus uh, five other tanks that I feel like are closely resembling the playstyle of this. I'm not gonna compare it against every single tier 8 light because that would take forever and honestly it would be kind of pointless. Then I'm gonna pop into a quick battle and you'll get to see the good, bad, or ugly of whatever that battle will be. In any event though, three crew members um, so when you pretty much look at the British light tanks, most of them have the three uh, crew members set up. However, do note that the tier 10 won only a crew, two crew members, so it doesn't exactly line up 100% with all the British light tanks. So let's get into the comparison here. I've got the, the Senlac here, the LHMTB, then the M41D, T92, LT432, and LTTB. Honestly, the tank out of this comparison that resembles the Senlac closest then what you should focus on is the T92 light tank right here which is kind of a sleeper light tank a lot of people don't really bring it up too much but it's a kind of solid tier 8 premium American uh, light tank honestly stat wise they're extremely similar in any event though um, let's get into kind of the breakdown 180 damage per shot 189 millimeters of pen so you know penetration is pretty good for light 223 on the uh, premium shell. As you can see, the pen, it's not as good as the LHMTV or the M41D, but it's towards the higher end for a tier 8 light. Damage per shot, again, not as much as the British light, the LHMTV, but more or equal to uh, the other lights in this comparison here. Comparing it to the T92 directly, it does more damage per shot with higher penetration. However, moving down here, you do have that negative 10 degrees of gun depression, which is awesome. Your gun traverse a little bit lower than, say, the M41D or T92, but still, you know, it's pretty good. Um, it's better than the other British light here in the comparison. Aiming time, excellent, uh, 1.73, identical to the T92 light. 0.36 accuracy is good as well. Not as good as the M41D or the MTV or the LTTB, but 0.36 is kind of the generic tier 8 light tank accuracy. So, we went over damage per shot at 180 here. Um, now DPM. As you can see, the DPM is a lot higher than the British Light and the Tech Dream, which is why I say that you shouldn't really compare these two tanks because they're basically, they're completely different when it comes to the gun, the size, all this and that. Um, DPM wise though, it's a little bit lower than the T92 Light Tank. Uh, so that kind of offsets the damage uh, difference between the two. However, I honestly would like the 180 gun. Uh, damage wise on the Senlac over the T92's 150 damage because that's that's pretty puny um, more or less though DPM uh, M41D gets spews out DPM considering how large it is it kind of needs that uh, but you do have a little bit less damage potential than say the LT432 overall go the, the gun's solid it's a tier 8 light tank gun to where you know damage is okay pens okay you know DPM's okay the gun depression is the most important bit honestly uh, for a tank like this so you can have an easy time using it while zipping around or going over hills and stuff um, so the gun it's nice it's like you know it's pretty much like other tier 8 british lights but you know no surprises there hit points you know 1050 uh, so honestly your hit points you know they're just kind of middle of the pack it's not as low as see say the t92 light it's not as high as the m41d it's just in the middle uh, armor wise pretty much non-existent really the only tank with armor uh tier 8 lights is the lt432 so yeah uh, no armor to speak of here mobility uh, first starting out with top speed so 65 kilometers an hour here is pretty good only the lt432 has a higher top speed here uh, you have a bit higher top speed on the than the t92 light but all in all no surprises with the top speed your specific power here um, almost identical to the t92 light um, it's better than the British light, obviously the M41D because it's pretty slow, better than the LT432 and the LTTB. So you got a little bit of zip to you as far as your specific power, albeit all these values are pretty darn good because they're light tanks. 
and you know combined with that top speed this thing it can get around the map pretty easily your traverse speed here is actually uh, something to make note of t92 light tank and i keep pointing that tank out because that's you know the closest tank i feel like stat wise to this t92 is a 57.37 value this has a 46.94 albeit both values are good um however you know you'll notice a difference where sometimes this doesn't turn as fast as you might like it and you know it matters a little bit when you're doing like close range brawls or you're basically like you know you notice something at the last second and you're screaming oh my god i'm gonna hit that rock i'm an idiot and then you hit it because you don't turn fast enough <laughs> yeah i do that a lot um camouflage wise uh, surprisingly the camouflage not to say it's not good on this uh, but make note like t92 light tank is 18.24 LT432 because it's really short. Uh, height wise, you know, 18.58. This only has 14.59, which again isn't the worst thing out there, like, but it's closer to the M41D than it is, you know, the tier 8 lights with the little bit better camouflage. So it actually is a pretty big difference. Um, and like comparing it to the British Light and the Tech Tree that has basically 19.5, you know, 19.5 for the basic 100% with nothing added on it. You know, camouflage value, it's a pretty huge difference, you know. Um, you know, basically a 5% difference. V range 400, you know, it's towards the top end, basically, you know, tied with the T92 light. It's the top of what you're basically going to find at tier 8 lights. Albeit, I believe, maybe the German one is 410, but I could be wrong there. But a lot better than, say, the other British light with any 380. So, one thing before I get into the battle, I keep pointing out, like, the size and everything. So, kind of going to the side view here. Comparing it to, you know, the one in the tech tree, you can see that it's a pretty big difference uh, size-wise. Compare it to the, so this versus the LT432. LT432 is longer, but this, it, it's got a little bit of height to it. Where the height is, you know, more or less the same height as the M41, you know, 90 millimeter M41D, you know. Albeit, the turret's really small, you know, as far as the, you know, the most of your height. But it is actually a much larger tank than you might think of. I was honestly surprised at how large this was compared to some other uh, light tanks. So that's kind of important. Like comparing it to the little boxy HWK-12, you got yourself the tech tree light for the British, which is super tiny. And then you got the Senlac, which is much larger. So something to keep in mind that I'm sure will catch a couple of people uh, off guard when they you know pick this up. Honestly, the model looks pretty darn good, though, to be completely honest. Like, I just threw the, uh, basically, uh, home front camouflage that I earned um, on this. But otherwise, the model looks pretty darn good. So, yeah, let's pop into a battle here and see what we got. Might get a good battle, might get a bad battle. Uh, knowing me, it's gonna, it's probably gonna be a bad battle. <laughs> but, you know, what, is this tank worth picking up? If you like light tanks, honestly, you know, you're gonna like this tank. Because, not to say most light tanks are the same, but you got yourself, like, a few different styles at tier 8. At least, you know, for the most part. You got yourself, like, the, the stealthy, you know, basically light tanks. You got yourself the um, LT-432, which is just amazing. And you got some that do damage, like the M41D. But, you know, this one, it's just, it's just kind of, like, a little bit all over the place. Kind of like the T-92 light tank that's more towards, like view range and camouflage uh, and the gun solid on that that's why this kind of reminds me of it this is a little bit less stealthy as i noted with the lower camouflage also the larger size um, but the gun solid like the gun will be doing a little bit more damage i feel like because you do more damage per shot with almost the same amount of dpm um, so you know it's kind of a solid all-around tank like there's nothing really crazy to like screw up about it outside of it being a light so Obviously, you know, you don't have much armor, your HP is a little bit lower. Even though I say the gun is nice all around, like tanks at tier 8, generally speaking, have eh when it comes to guns. Like, you know, they're not as good as medium tanks, and, you know, there's nothing, like, spectacular about them. But if you do like light tanks, this one is just, like, the generalist playstyle. You can do a little bit of everything, but more so towards, you know, trying to zip around doing some damage, you know especially on like hilly terrain with your good gun depression. I'm playing this with my crew basically has nothing. It's got brothers in arms because I don't really have a good crew for my British lights yet. 
Um, so I don't have like good camouflage values on this since you know no camouflage uh, when the crew skill comes into effect here. But for the most part, we'll see what we can do over here. I thought about going to the other side. Um, generally speaking, I'm the only light on my team. The enemy's only got one light tank too. But I'm a little bit worried about my uh, potential of you know zipping around here by myself because I don't have six cents. <laughs> that scares the crap out of me. Um, I could have put a directive on, but I'm an idiot. And, you know, I probably should have put one on for this video, but yeah, we're rolling without it. At least I know that I don't have it. Alright, T-103. I don't know if he's going to pop up. It doesn't seem like my Artie is aiming over here, which was kind of my... Let's say I was hinging my whole plan on Artie shooting over here, but um, I was kind of hoping that he would. At this point, though, there's so many freaking TDs. This is gonna be a this is gonna be a challenge. We we pulled a really a really interesting uh, bit here. It's also a real challenge because we have nobody um, over on this side, which is equally as bad. Oh yeah, which come to note, I reminded myself about something because I guess swapped over to it here. We're gonna throw an HE shell at this Scorpion G. One nice thing about this tank, it's actually got a pretty good HE shell. It's got 90 millimeters of pen here. 280 damage so honestly it's part it's pretty damn good like for lack of better words like most other light tanks um, outside of like the French uh, wild ones they don't exactly have the best um, you know HE guns or HE shells I should say at this tier so that's one kind of thing that honestly like I almost forgot to mention it another little thing uh, now that we're kind of uh, rummaging around in my in my brain here that this has it actually does not have that much gun elevation um, it's got lower gun elevation values than most other tier 8 lights uh, if I remember correctly albeit that's not the most important stat it is an important stat to know that you don't have um, or else you'll find yourself kind of wanting to point your gun up occasionally or if you're driving down a hill like this and there's someone in front of you you're not going to be able to point your gun up as easily um, as some other tanks against them that's something important to note. Alright, I need to do something here because my team is... I don't think I'm going to get too much more outside of, you know, maybe a couple little spots here or there. But I can't do damage here. I was hopeful that my team might try to do something like towards the town or something. Which, oh god, we just got spotted. Hope and pray, hope and pray. <laughs> but yeah, um, you know, I was hopeful but... They don't exactly want to move, it seems like. On the move accuracy, like, I do have a vertical stabilizer on this, like most people use on their lights. On the move accuracy, though, it's pretty awesome. Like, pretty much you know what you're getting. It's not, like, a surprise. Like, you might find with some new tanks, you know, the hidden values might not really line up with other tanks that are currently out. This one feels just like other tier 8 lights, where you can hit things pretty well while moving around. As long as you have a vertical stabilizer. Like, I wouldn't run one without it. As I shoot into the ground and kill a couple gophers or prairie dogs or whatever lives in, lives around a ghost town here. Alright, I got his attention, so let's, uh, let's try to shoot this guy. Oh man, he sees our Artie. Or he sees me. I'd rather him shoot me than Artie, considering the Artie is now dead. He just got one shot. But playstyle wise, you know, like I was saying, it's similar to other uh, tier 8 lights, so you're not really going to find anything like, I guess, unique about this outside of it being different than other uh, British light tanks. You know, it's definitely more of what most people are probably comfortable with rather than playing, you know, kind of the take a shot, move around, low DPM thing that most British lights have around tier 8. Oh, I thought these little tumbleweeds were people knocking trees down. I'm like, oh crap, they are coming. Yeah, my team, uh, we went with the strategy of not pushing anywhere. Which doesn't exactly work out too well. Like, I think I made it the furthest south. Maybe the guy in the town beat me by a couple meters, like in the beginning, before he died. But I think... I made it the furthest south on our team, and the rest of our team is basically just trying to hump uh, the red line. Ooh, 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 can we get this with the... Uh, I was about to say, 
I guess he has six cents. He's smart. All right, Strive S1. Whoop, 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 whoop. Oh man, somebody sees me, Paddock, Paddock. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm gonna die here. Oh my God, that TD is out in the bushes. He got me. Ah oh, Lord, of course it. That's what you get for not running six cents though. I'm like, okay, there, there's gotta be no one in between me. You know, me and, um, you know, it's just the 110 and the KV-5. So I'm just gonna zip in here and, you know, get get ourselves a, I was gonna kill the, the 110, but uh, that ISU 152 got me. Or at least I, I'm gonna blame it on him. Whoa, don't shoot me. Don't shoot me, uh, Centaurian. We're making a video here. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> oh lord. I'm, I hope you guys are laughing. And I'm dead. That ISU got me. Oh my god. Screw you, whatever your name is. Cameron Jones, 1931. Oh god. In any event, though, hopefully you guys got a laugh out of this battle. I didn't exactly play it as well as I probably should have. I should have played it out over here looking back. But my team literally didn't move. I think... If you include this one square here, I think like 12, 11 or 12 of our team, uh, teammates have not made it out of this little box here. So is this, is the Senlac really worth picking up? Um, that's what it comes down to. And what I try to mention in most of my videos, I would only pick this up if you like playing tank. I, I've been saying this recently in a lot of my premium tank reviews you have the crew booklets now so crew training isn't 100 percent important anymore albeit you know with british lights being a new line it is kind of nice to have the crew training for this so that's kind of a plus um however which this person we're gonna put him on our blacklist um however you know when it comes down to it the mana core at tier 10 only has two crew members so you gotta keep that in mind that this crew needs three crew members whoops not two, three. These three crew members. So it does line up with like the tier eight. I believe the tier nine and tier seven has three crew members, if not four, but I'm pretty sure it's three. Uh, so do keep that in mind. Performance wise, you kind of know what you're getting. It's similar to most other tier eight lights, barring the British ones in the tech tree and also barring the wheel tanks. You know, this is similar to like, you know, the T92 uh, light tank that I've been pointing out about 30, 40, 50, 60 times this video. Um, but yeah, performance-wise, nothing special, nothing bad, you know, it's just a light tank. I'm not the biggest fan of light tanks, just because they can't always, you know, like, carry a battle as well, and especially solo and random battles, depending on the map, your team, so on and so forth. Uh, like, if I had a little bit of armor here, I might have been able to push this flank by myself, or play the town, and actually, you know, do something there outside of send one person there and die in the first two minutes. But, you know, that's a bunch of ifs and buts. But in any event, you know, thank you very much for watching this video. Um, hopefully you enjoyed it. The where, you know, the Senlac as of basically this video coming out, I believe it should be coming out at some point, I would assume, um, after, you know, the kind of embargo is lifted here. Um, I would assume across all servers too, because, you know, the British lights are out. Why not release a British uh, premium tier 8 light tank to kind of go alongside of them now that, you know, they've kind of uh most people have kind of blown over the whole uh war gaming <laughs> releasing bad british light tanks this one it's pretty good though in any event though um this video and this game wasn't exactly spectacular for or this game uh, for this video wasn't spectacular but i thought it was pretty funny top three experience you know a little bit lower damage wise i got a decent amount of assist damage in the beginning but yeah, you can't make it up. My team tried to out-camp, um, you know, the, their team. And the thing about trying to out-camp people doesn't really work, uh, typically. Especially on an open map like Ghost Town. Um, the enemy team pretty much got, like, three-quarters of the map for free. But, yeah, thanks for watching. And see you around. Hopefully you enjoyed the review. And if you're picking up this tank, hopefully, you know, this video uh, helped you out a bit. If you're not picking it up, hopefully you know how to fight against it a little bit um, better now. Have a good one.